हरे कृष्णा मैटर इज नॉट जस्ट फॉरेन बट एलियन फॉरेन रेफर्स टू दैट विच एग्जिस्ट आउटसाइड नेशनल बाउंड्रीज एलियन रेफर्स टू दैट विच एग्जिस्ट आउटसाइड टेरेस्ट्रियल बाउंड्रीज generally when we use the word foreign it refers to someone something that is that despite its differences is substantially similar to us foreigners despite although they may be culturally linguistically different still they are also humans like us they also eat food breathe air and drink water need sleep shelter and aliens on the other hand are subs- are significantly different from us no they may have bodies and body needs quite drastically distinct as science fiction sometimes depicts so now when we say that matter is not just foreign but alien that means that matter is radically different from us now the bhagavad gita explains that we are not these material bodies but we are spirit souls and the characteristic of spirit is that it is sat chit ananda sat is eternal chit is conscious and ananda is blissful the soul is by nature eternal conscious and blissful now in contrast the body and the matter which makes up the body is asat achit and nirananda is matter is unconscious uh, is temporary asat achit unconscious and nirananda it is uh, capable it is not capable of any pleasure in fact it, it produces it offers no pleasure it offers misery instead so now uh, this radical difference between the body and the mind uh is what ensures that we don't we learn to see, by this radical difference between body and the mind we learn to see bodily changes such as creation deterioration destruction as insubstantial so the bhagavad gita explains in 2.28 avyakta dini bhutani vyakta madhyani bharat avyakta nidhananya eva तत्र का परिदेव अव्यक्त आदि निभूता दैट ऑल लिविंग बींग्स एंड वी लुक एट देर एम्बॉडिड फॉर्म्स भूतानी देर अव्यक्त दर नो फॉर्म देर मटेरियल बॉडी दैट मेड देम दैट वॉज एक्चुअली हैविंग नो फॉर्म व्यक्त मध्या भारत एंड देन it becomes manifest in between in the middle and avyakta nidhananya eva and on destruction it becomes avyakta again it becomes now unmanifest tatra ka paridevana therefore what is there to lament in it what is there to grieve in it so it is actually our misidentification with the body that subjects us to the miseries of to various miseries is old age disease death and rebirth and when we understand that we are substantially different from the body uh, we are made of a substance that is different from the substance of the body then we become free from much of this lamentation now uh, what is the significance of this radical body soul dualism that is taught in the gita the significance is seen not in not just in terms of our capacity to deal with this worldly grief but also in our capacity to understand accurately the next world the afterlife now many in many earlier traditions where uh, there is the concept of the soul some of them have the idea that the soul and the body are not differentiable that they more or less exist together and they will be brought together after judgment day in the kingdom of god so uh, in in heaven in, in god's kingdom whatever they call it so now 
this idea. So for them, the afterlife is basically just an extension of this life. Uh, the different, only difference being that that the afterlife is unending and untroubled. This world, life, this world ends and it, it's troubled. But that is unending and untroubled. Now, such a conception of the afterlife is logically problematic and devotionally inadequate. Now, devotionally incomplete. So, logically problematic. It's logically problematic because you know, conveying this world's that this world is simply replicated and extended to that world, it leads to a complete mess in relationships. For example, you know, if a man uh, marries a woman and then somehow that woman dies, then he remarries again. So then, when um, if all three are believers and all three die and go back, go to heaven, then what will they do in heaven? Will the man have, have two wives? Will each of these wives have to live eternally with a co-wife? So will there be polygamy eternally in heaven? So th this, and this is just one question, like that there can be many many questions which come uh, when we simplistically extrapolate from this world into the next world. And more important than the confusion in our relationships is the, the lack of focus on God. Many people go to heaven because they think, oh, in heaven, I'll be reunited with God. And often in such religious traditions, the pictures of heaven are primarily pictures of happy men, women, children, happy reunited family members. Eternal family get together is what people envision heaven. So God is not at all in the picture. So that this is actually devotionally incomplete. The kingdom of God, it is God who is in the center and it is God who is the central object of our love. By, uh, by, by when we understand from the Bhagavad Gita that the body and the soul are radically different, we break free from the simplic, simplistic notions of the uh, kingdom of God and then uh, we open our hearts to the fullness and the richness of the spiritual world as is revealed progressively in Gita wisdom. Thank you. Hare Krishna.